Hello and welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Sorry this is going up a bit later. Hard to hard to find time exactly to redo the boss battle and presumably also the rest of the game after that. As I've been told multiple times uh, that people would expect the next episode to be the last one, so I'm probably going to finish it this time. Here's hoping. And some people thought I was struggling in the last battle. It certainly took longer. I definitely have to figure more stuff out, and there were some moments, especially the insta-kill stuff, that was annoying. But I don't really think I struggle all that much. Two tries on any of them isn't really me struggling. It's more of just me figuring out the mechanics and trying to work around them. If you want to see me struggling, go to the fight against the dogs in, uh... I'm forgetting names at the moment. I want to say Rowan, but that sounds wrong. Ruin. Maybe it was Ruin. Probably Ruin. Okay. I'm sure it'll be quicker this time. I didn't change anything, mind you. I just... It'll probably be quicker this time. Okay. One thing I learned is that... Fight is so much more difficult if you let the, uh... Add stick around as he switches stages and stuff. And hello, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, this feels like deja vu. Did maybe it did? Yeah, I at least know the parts of moving anymore. Oh my, Marine Guardian. It seems like it was go uh, its goal is to destroy this facility, to destroy the seats of the uh, Oriole when the Oriole was sealed, it was sealed along with it. It's abled, but set to reactivate if anyone tried to take the artifact. Maybe the ancients were in dispute over the Oreo themselves. But where is it then? What? How is it still able to move? Oh god, if there's another phase, I'm going to just hit this game. I'm going to- it's digital, but I'm just going to take it and I'm gonna slap it. I, I can't move my body. J Joshua! Estelle! Why couldn't you do this during the battle? Why couldn't you do this during the battle, hmm? Not a chance. Colonel, I'll deal with this. Get out of here now! Uh, what? You barely survived fighting this thing the last time. I'm still ready for combat. I can buy you some time at least. Hey, he's got moves. You should try to... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, you should probably take the sword out of the sheath. Wow. I really did learn his techniques from Dad. It's not like we fought him or anything already. What are you doing? Go, now! Ugh. Uh, 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 Colonel? What should we do? Um, shut up and go! How many times have I said this? I think it was Neil. I lost my fight with you. No! Don't worry about it. My plan may have ended in failure. But if I can help you, perhaps, that will be repentance enough. Such a pity. If you think of this as a hopeless battle, that's exactly what it will be. Have you forgotten everything I taught you? Ooh, mustache. Uh, oh my, it can't be. You haven't shaved yet, why? No, no, we have more important, th no, finish him off. No, we have more important things to do. Oh God, there's another phase. <laughs> Please just be like a story battle. Oh God, there's more to it. Why is there more to it? 5,000, okay, definitely just a story battle, yeah? Definitely story battle. Make it a story battle. Hey, let's not take that chance. I have to be honest. I didn't struggle when I fought him the first time, but on the redo, I was fucking struggling. And it's on the recording, but I was yelling at points. I was legitimately yelling because there is a point where... In that battle, if you let certain things live to certain points, and sometimes just because of the flow of the battle, it's extremely hard to make sure it gets to that, unless you have a very specific um, plan ahead of time to stop it from getting that point, then goddamn, 
yes, I, I, I admit I struggled at that point when I redid it, and I might have a compilation or something. I don't know. E editing echo, just include me screaming right now. Uh, this is annoying. This is just annoying. Just end it already, you asshole. Hates me so fucking much. There we go. Editing Echo probably did it. He did it right. Definitely. Oh, I'm sure that'll be fun. I'm sure that'll make a lot of you so happy. Oh, wait. Are we supposed to maybe possibly not let it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's not even moving. No, attack it. Finish it off. It's so dangerous. It's just like, oh, please don't hurt me. I'm, I'm, I'm so hurt at the moment. It still has a death rage one on, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, I guess I'll do this in the only way I really know how to. There we go. Now, stay the fuck down. And I'm now realizing my last episode's title might have been inaccurate. Because I didn't include this part. Yay. We... We won. Uh, because of the help of a certain... <sighs> Say it. Thank you for your help, everyone. Aren't I great? I'm so amazing. Let's talk, Joshua. I'm home. It's been quite a while. Da da Dad. You've still got a long way to go, but I can see that your training has paid off. I'm going to skin you alive. I suppose I'll give you a passing grade this time. I will destroy you. Enough. Don't give me that. What are you even doing here? What's indeed? Oh, so I just wanted to see the ending. I'm gonna fucking hit you. I'm gonna shave that mustache off and I'm gonna put it on my fucking trophy mantle. What do you mean by ending? <laughs> I see you're just as cheerful as ever, Dan. <laughs> well, you look like you've gotten taller. Ooh, has he? Has looking after Estelle been as difficult as I think it has? What is that supposed to mean? Eh, depends on the day, really. But to be fair, she looks down for me too. It balances out, I think. Yeah, good, good. Sounds like it's been a worthwhile journey. Oh. Huh. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Cassius Bright. My name is Olivier. Also known as Adovitz. Because you think Cassius might recognize him? I think Cassius might recognize him. Just because he's so amazing, he probably has the world, like, knowledge from Erebonia to recognize him, right? I'm a traveling musician from the Empire. Is that so? Oh, time permits, I should like to uh, discuss a few things with you. Oh, he totally recognizes him because he's amazing Cassius. He just... May, may, maybe. 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 Maybe they'll do it justice at some point. But right now, he really does feel like a Gary Sue. Or Mary Sue, or whatever you want to phrase it as for a guy. In the meantime, please know that you have my thanks for assisting my son and daughter. Make nothing of it. It's been a worthwhile pursuit. Over the last time, I'm impressed by your skill. It's wild that one gets to watch a living legend at work. <laughs> and I'm still working on it myself. It's been quite a long time, Mr. Cassius. Ah, yes, your highness. Roughly six months, I believe. I've heard of your imprisonments, but I'm glad to see you are well. 
<laughs> well, you can thank Estelle and company for coming to my rescue. By the way, Estelle and Joshua were in this year's play at the Royal Academy. I wish you could have been there to see it. Oh, but I was, but I was. I am everywhere and anywhere. You need me to be in any given place. I know people probably like Cassidy, so getting annoyed by me hating on him. <laughs> but screw you, I just went through way too long of stuff to deal with being courteous about that. <laughs> This is the second time I had to do it, too. Oh, really? I do wish I could have been there for that. This really isn't the time for chit chat. Colonel Richard's over there, like, dead. And we have better things to discuss, right? I swear you could just pop up, pop up out of nowhere. At just the right moment to make the most dramatic entrance you can. Oh, I bet he did on purpose. Who is he, Oliver? Ah, oh, seems like everything's back to normal. Professor, there you are. Oh, a bit late to the body, I'm afraid. Oh, after you went on ahead, we were surrounded by a horde of those mechanized monsters. We managed to keep them at bay somehow or another. Oh, and here we are. In any case, it seems like uh, all affairs have been set in order. Yes, much remains to be done, but this, at least, has been resolved. What? Isn't the Intelligence Division's battalion getting- Oh, I just saw Colonel Richard get up. I didn't see him get up, but he changed his position. Um, battalion getting close to the castle by now. No doubt. Along with the patrol ships. Oh, but I am Cassie as Bryce. I can take out all of them at once. Can't I? I'll just uh, spin my staff so quickly that I'll create a tornado that will throw at them. Masson, you've no need to worry about that. General Morgan said that he has the situation under control. And as Sid's help, this craziness will be quelled in no time. What? <laughs> I see. So I take care of them on your way here then. So, no wake. <laughs> we placed General Morgan under strict observation. Sid couldn't risk defying us because, well, we held his family hostage. We had you free both from our grasp. Hmm, I suppose I did. However, Richard, that's about all I've done. Even had I not returned, they would have been able to handle it themselves. No, oh, you're wrong, you're a hero. I left the military, left all of us. What were we supposed to do? I didn't think we could survive another invasion. So I... I had to find something else we could rely on. <laughs> if I had stayed in the service, it never would have come to this. Ah. Uh, yes, the game is about to say I'm not an amazing person to the point, but you'd be wrong. I really am. But I'm going to say this so that he doesn't have a god complex. Oh. Ugh. Stop being such a child, Richard. You're the one who made the mistake of never letting go of the delusions you had about me. For all, for all your schemes. Why could you never stand on your own two feet? I thought it would be okay to retire. I thought I could comfortably leave the army in your care. Colonel, I'm not an icon to be hailed. A decade ago, you and General Morgan helped me. And we are victorious. But I'm no more than a man who's run away from reality without protecting the things that are important to him. Dad? But I have no intention of running anymore. That's why I expect the same from you, Richard. I want you to think about this whole mess. Think about what you did wrong. How you can atone for it. You have plenty of time, believe me. I'm sure I'll come up in a later game and quote-unquote atone for it. And so the Intelligence Division's plan, coup d'etat, was thwarted. General Morgan and Major Sid organized the military authorities to keep the chaos to a minimum. And the conspirators, uh, conspirators in the Intelligence Division were arrested one by one. Except Lawrence, probably. One week later... <sighs> How nice. You know, this is sort of a really egotistical celebration to have. Oh my goodness, you were born 60 years ago? Bravo! Let's have a party throughout the entire city. And she trips and falls off. It's like, no, okay, Chloe's queen. <laughs> Stone 
Estelle and Joshua Bright, in honor of your recent work, we ran sale branch of the Brazier Guild has prepared you a letter of recommendation. Take it with our blessing. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, how nice. Yay, great. <laughs> Receive recommendation. At this, you now have five such letters, I believe. Can we go be Bracers in, like, Erebonia or Crossbell or something? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't want to live in the same country as Cassius. <laughs> I I'm just being horrible at the moment. Everyone's going to hate me. I know you are. <laughs> I don't care at this point. I don't care. So, Cassius, will you do the honors? I will. Miss Dell and Joshua Bright. In accordance to the rules of the guild, this will qualify you both to become full fledged braces. Present your letters of recommendation. Hey, yes, sir. By all means, please verify their authenti uh, authenticity. Yep. But relents, won't say, ruin, and zeiss, and grants all branches. I have not confirmed the authenticity, uh, authenticity of all five signatures. The final rank, Junior Bracer Rank 1. I thought you'd come so far. Honestly, it's not a frightening. And that is his name, and by the sea of the Bracer Guild, both of you are promoted to full-fledged braces. Take your emblems, you two. Yes, sir. Cool. Cool. I do not see clapping. Where is the clapping coming from? None of you are clapping. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Those emblems look good on you. I have to admit, you two did good. But <laughs> just this once. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, especially you, Agate. That must have been really painful to get to that point. We've never been able to reach this point without everyone's help. True, your true careers is brace to start now. Bear that in mind. I understand. There's always a sequel. I'll be even more dedicated. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. I'm gonna say this now, because I've basically been assuming this for a while. Um, I know that there's gonna be a cliffhanger of some sort. People have told me that the cliffhanger isn't like Cold Steel, where it's like the story needs isn't done at that point, and it's much more isolated. With that in mind, the obvious cliffhanger, if it's not something just like out of left field, would it ha would be it has something to do with Joshua, and. It, I gotta be honest, um, I I'm sort of thinking it's probably something to do with him, like, going away. Um, specifically, something, I I'm guessing the silver hair guy shows up, and he's gonna go, like, feral, or he's gonna be re-recruited into whatever group he, or whatever he was a part of beforehand, and he's gonna feel like he has no choice, or something like that. And that's basically the theory I currently have in terms of what's going to happen at the end here. It could be something entirely different, but based on the loose story threads mainly seeming to do with Joshua, and you know, Cassie's mustache, um, well, I guess maybe he'll be recruited by his mustache, and him and the mustache will go off and have their own adventures, leaving Cassius and Estelle home alone all sad. I don't know. Yeah, that's my theory at the moment. I guess we'll see what happens. We'll be even more dedicated. Now I hate to break up such a happy occasion, but I'm afraid I have to, uh, I do have some unfortunate news I must tell all of you. You are now hereby going to be executed because you have way too much information known. What's that? Today marks the final day of Cassius Sprite's membership with the base again. He's going to be returning to active duty within the Royal Army. <laughs> what? Really? Since I've been away for so long, I feel bad bringing this up so suddenly. But the chaos that has resulted from the attentive coup must be quelled. The military needs major reorganization to deal with the damage that the Intelligence Division caused. I plan to help out with that. Oh, I get it. Since Bracers can't be soldiers. Hey, did you higher ranks already know about this? Yeah, they already discussed it with us. It is discouraging, but we can never truly become independent if we always lean on those more experienced. And hey, think of it less as a competition. Now that Cassius is out, maybe, maybe you can take the top spot, eventually. <laughs> I suppose that's true. This means that we're going to be really busy, though. Well, you have two new full-fledged braces on hand now. You can work them like dogs instead of me. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I guess our lives are about to get pretty hectic, eh? Jeez, Dad. Can you at least stay with us until the end of the birthday celebration? I'm sorry, but there's a war council starting immediately. Colonel Richard may be in custody, but there are plenty of his special ops corps still at large. Captain Amathea is also hiding somewhere in the underground ruins. 
That one's enough. It looks like Sky Bandits ran off in all the confusion. Ah, they can't be back, aren't they? We have to, uh, we have to stay on guard so they don't cause any trouble during the festival. Ugh, these guys are just a constant pain in the motherfucking ass. Either way, it leaves us, uh, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And great security is just for peace of minds. The real issue is that we really don't know the significance of what happens underground. You can only guess at what the effect of breaking the seal will have. And what the purpose of this aureole is. It's a puzzle must, that must absolutely be solved. Yeah, I guess you're right. It doesn't sound like Colonel Richard's memory can be trusted. Yes, just like Kurtz, it seems he has to. Uh, he has some mis uh, missing memories. Even so, the search team was able to confirm one thing. We now know where the black old mink came from. Really? You know who made it? That's quite, but we do know who's responsible for introducing it to the Intelligence Division. Commander of the Special Ops, Second Lieutenant, Lord Spellgar. Shocking. Uh, I'm so surprised, because no one could have seen that gummy. Him. We gave it to Richard shortly after he was recruited to the Intelligence Division. What are the... I mean... Okay, so I'm guessing Lawrence is gonna be one of the, uh, uh, oh shoot, what do they call them as far as the Ouroboros, like uh, what McBurn is? Shoot, I forgot what their titles are, but yeah, one of those. I'm guessing he's gonna be one of those, and Lawrence isn't even, like, isn't even his real name or something. I give it to Richard shortly after he was recruited for the Intelligence Division. And coincidentally, that would be just about the same time Richard planned his coup. We need to find out everything about Lawrence that we can. He always did seem strange. I'm guessing we were lucky that he actually got a, uh, we actually get a good look at his face, huh? If you want, I can try drawing you a picture of him. Oh god, he's gonna be like a stick figure, and he's gonna be like a really mean, like, angry face with like, you know, like, jagged teeth and stuff. That would be appreciated. I have to admit, though, that I don't have the utmost faith in the autistic skills. Maybe I should ask Shazad, oh, Majesty. That's not nice. Estelle? He actually saw Lawrence's face. Oh, what? I didn't tell you. He took his helmet off when we fought him on the terrace in the Royal Keep. He looks around, I don't know, 20, maybe older, with ash blonde hair. <sighs> okay, is that silver enough for you? He had some seriously creepy eyes, too. <laughs> Let me tell you. Ugh, they're so cold, but... It's like they were on fire at the same time. He told the Queen, You are hardly qualified to feel pity for me. Hardly qualified. Joshua, your eyes are looking a little creepy now too, Joshua. Something on your mind? How about you let us handle the cleanup here? Go have fun at the festival. I... Okay, no, no, you're right, you're right, yeah. Awesome, let's go live it up. Oh, right, are we going to be sleeping at the castle tonight? My Her Majesty was kind enough to let us, uh, let me use two of the guest rooms in the Eastern Wing. Joshua and I will be on the right and you and Shara on the left. Me and Shara, together. Oh no, please don't. You don't like that setup? Okay, how about me and you in one room and Joshua and Sharon in the other? Just imagine all that time for you to fawn over me and wait on me and tell me how much you missed me. Never. How fun with Shara? <laughs> I suspected as much. Why can't you bunk with Joshua? I've been doing it this entire time. Alright, so I'll, 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 uh, then I'll see you kids tonight. <sighs> you know, it wouldn't be a big deal for you to share a room with him. I mean, it has been a long time since you last saw him. Didn't you have a lot of stuff about your mom you wanted to uh, talk to him about? Yeah, but... <laughs> I don't much like the idea of you and Cher in the same room either. Huh? Nothing, 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 nothing. Just go and look around. The town's decked out with some pretty cool festival exclusive shops, you know. Well, we certainly can't let those pass us by now, can we? And if we get tired, there's uh, always a rest area in the east block. Behind the stores, right? We should make that our last stop then. Yeah, I can do that. Yes, and I was told that there is a side quest in this, so... Let's go find the side quest. Okay. Olivier, Estelle, Joshua, let's hug! I had from Garcia, is that you become full class races? That's done, done. Congratulations, my dear little pussy guns. You just, uh, 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 we'll just go, thanks then. Olivier, what brings you here? 
I heard you invited uh, to the night celebra uh, celebratory banquet, but uh, I didn't think you'd be here already. Yeah, seriously. That's a guy who loves parties doing drinking alone in a quiet place like this. Better be careful or some people might start thinking you're an imposter. Ah, the news of you two becoming full-fledged braces filled my heart almost to bursting. So much so that I saw no recourse but to hold an impromptu concert in front of the Grand Arena. Ah, if only you had witnessed the unbridled excitement I inspired my legion of fans. Ah, right. Uh, makes me think of the performance at Argon Gate. Indeed, such a public explosion of passion left me drained. So I wandered here for a quiet place to drink and brood. Ah, me. And rest of stream is walking alone, sharing the drink they call loneliness. But before he sits the beauty, and the beast that's his man. I can't make those words fit together into anything resembling sense. Okay, I'm supposed to talk to him twice. Oh, uh, so yeah, about you reading with my dad. You apparently have something you need to talk with uh, about him with, don't you? I do. You do. As a matter of fact, it seemed to me as though dad already knew who you were. Oh no, I didn't fool him, of course I didn't fool him. Inconceivable, my pretty kitty. <laughs> Surely a man like him and a man says I would have a little need to spread our wings and uh, fly. Yeah, he definitely knows something. He's acting weird even for him. Definitely, there's more to this story, for sure. Pops, forget about the worries on your mind. Come, dance to the beat of the rhythm of the night. The sounds of our feet and our laughter chase away those looking to intros, forgotten past and unknown future. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the Grand Cell Bar and talk to a certain playable character twice. Uh, after go check the board in the Bracer Guild, and then proceed to complete the side quest. Thank you, uh, Silver Kawi, Kahi, Kahi. I'm not sure how you'd want that be to uh, be pronounced. So sorry. I'm not in the mood for trying too hard on that at the moment. I'm sorry. I swear to goodness, if this quest is literally just like from like Vander wanting to track down Oliver, then goddamn, it will be so fun. Here we go, the embassy mission. I'd like someone to find and detain a one uh, blonde haired self proclaimed musician. Oh my goodness, Mueller. Self proclaimed musician wearing a white coat. There's lots to be arriving in the Rose City by even time today. Yes. Uh, why would that show up before? Well, I guess um, your the description of how I got that seemed to imply that I had to talk to him twice before that would show up on the board. Let's sneak up on him and pounce. Now, so, Joshua, is the uh, is the birthday so uh, it is the birthday celebration? What a waste it would be if we were not to enjoy it. No. Hey, Joshua. I think he's the guy. Without question. Never met him before, though. I have it. Why don't you join me in a little afternoon delight? Just you and... You. I and... Doesn't that sound... divine? Come now, do say yes. Hmm. <laughs> Funny you ass. We were just talking to this guy who asked us the same thing, and we said, we have a friend who would... Probably just love to talk to you. <laughs> Did you really now? Did you really now? Honest to goodness. Absolutely. We'd like us to introduce him to you. I would, mo I would most love that. Thank you. You are my best friends. You are so truthful and honest with me. Please lead the way. <laughs> hmm. Why are we back at the praise again? Oh, don't get your naked chip in a knot. Ellen's calling over our guests, you see. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. The interested party has been successfully con uh, contacted and should be arriving here shortly. <laughs> I imagine she must simply can't bear the opportunity to, uh, wait. <laughs> I imagine she simply can't bear waiting for the opportunity to meet me. Tell me, have I made this kid's acquaintance before or is this to be our first meowing? Oh, I believe the kitten knows you and really wants to see you. <laughs> Kittens are gonna sell. Perhaps a chair. Or perhaps even Kano Analyze. Oh, I'd be totally up for Analyze. Uh, no, no. I must not discount the possibility that might be Mamma Bell. Ooh. Even the dear sweets on the mirror. Surely it's not Princess Claudio. Sita? Yeah, those are just be 
I'll just say you got one hell of an imagination. Ah, it seems our guest is already here. Is she now? My dears, come in. Come in. For that kind of welcome. Who am I to refuse? Alright. It looks like you've done what I asked then. I appreciate it. On behalf of the Erebonian Embassy, I thank you. <laughs> That's not necessary. It was Olivier who was really eager to oblige you. I don't remember being present at that discussion. But does this mean that you're the kitten who wished to see me? What are you smoking? Royal Majesty the Queen directly invited you to tonight's banquet. So I'm not about to tell you you can't go. But I know you. And I know you're going to get into trouble if you're not properly chaperoned. So I'm keeping a close eye on you. Until dinner time. And you're going to like it. Stop, Joshua. You tricked me. I'm not into that sort of play. Oh, don't blame your bad hearing on us. You're the ones. Uh, you're the one who decided that it was a woman. I never said a word. Now then, evening swiftly approaches. There's a lot of paperwork to fill out, and you're going to do it. So let's get back to the embassy, shall we? No, no. no. Ah, well, case closed, I guess. But since that concludes your investigation, allow me to give you a rifle reward. <laughs> Was that everything? <laughs> oh, well. The proper bracer notebooks are not yet ready, so I'd like for you to just note this one. And you're a junior one. The perfect package. <laughs> What's the package? Is it Oh, my goodness. Uh, brace yourself for adventure! I don't know what those actually involve. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I can actually bring these up in the current... Uh, complete all requests from the Bracer Guild. Return a certain blonde hair idiot to his boon companion. Ooh. There's, a, there's an achievement just for that. <laughs> I feel a little guilty about this request, but okay. We got the achievements. But uh, now, why don't we go back to the birthday celebration? Ah, sounds good. And once we've checked everything out, we can go to the rest area in the eastern block. Hmm. So if I got the, uh, uh, all bracer requests, does that mean I got all the hidden quests too? I mean, I was thinking I was getting all of them. Because people were always kind enough to let me know when I should expect them. That really does help a lot, though. It does. Look at you, still here. Everyone looks like they're having so much fun at the Queen's birthday celebration. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? Ah, Shane's busy out here. Doesn't look like I get that nap I've been wanting. May as well just hang out instead. How nice. I was hoping they'd have something more interesting to say. Oh, oh, I accidentally came here. Oh well. Okay, we finally made it to the rest area. You sure you don't want to look around more? Or are you finally ready to take a break? Is it really actually interesting stuff to look at here? Because... Eh... No, let's just stop. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sure there's random interesting stuff, but I'm... I don't know. Uh, walking over all the place can uh, really take it out of you. Glad we can get off our feet for a minute then. For the moment, at least, Grand Style seems to be, uh, seems like it's generally at peace. <laughs> you really think so? I'm just glad we can leave it all up to Dad and everyone else. Uh, at least for today. Of course, I think it really should have been responsib uh, his responsibility to begin with, since he showed up so late. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I suppose. Maybe it's just part of his nature. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a trend, isn't it? Oh uh, well, it's not like we can do anything about it. But check us out! We're actually full bracers now! Which means we're not beholden to any specific branch and we can go wherever we want. Anytime a branch is shorthanded and requests help, we'll just take an airliner to get there. But our newfound freedom will also mean greater responsibilities. <laughs> sure, but I think we'll be able to handle it. I mean, hey, we actually played a major part in stopping a coup! I mean, I... It, and it means I'll never have to hear Dad going on about how it worries him when you're not around to keep an eye on me. <laughs> yeah, I think his days of saying that are at an, uh, at an end. He really showed him what you can do. 
Still, I think I'd like to stay with you from now on. Huh? <gasps> huh? Oh, uh, would I just get on your nerves? Uh, no, 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 nothing like that. But what do you mean by stay with me? Just that we know each other so well we can practically read each other's minds. I think we make a good team, and I'd hate to break it up. Oh, you mean for Fraser business. <laughs> and here I, uh, here I was thinking you were going to tell me your big confession or something. Wait, what? Uh, nothing, forget I said anything. Still, what was that on? No, 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 boy. It sure is hot out here today. And there's nothing to beat hot weather like ice cream, right? I'll even treat. So, you just wait right here. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't think there's an ice cream stand over that way. I wonder if she... Ah, there's no way. My... But I do envy your youth sometimes. Mmm. Professor Elba. It has been a long time since we last met, hasn't it? Not really. So much has happened lately, but things are finally settling down again. People truly thrive. The most peaceful, uh, the most in peaceful times. Huh. Oh, there's something the matter. You look a bit pale. I would have thought you'd be in better spirits now that you've attained senior bracer status. S yeah, there's those suspicious eyes. Speaking of which, I must truly congratulate you on your success. So long, yes, of course, I'm not being too forward in doing so. Ever since we first met, you always made me really uncomfortable. I'm a little bit more used to you now. I still get the chase when, uh, a little bit whenever you look at me. Oh. And in all the cases we've dealt with, there have been people who just forget things. They're always there, investigating no matter where we've gone. The timing's almost a little too good. <laughs> at least they're not legitimately just talking that up to coincidence. What really clued me in was Kurt's reaction. He lost his memories too, yeah? He said he wasn't feeling so well when he was in the stands. You're right there with him. Ooh. Professor Alba, was it you? <laughs> Ooh, that's a different perspective. Impressive. Even if your cognizance and recollection being puppeteered, you were still able to piece it all together. Indeed, it was I. You're admitting it! Allow me to clear away your confusion. Oh my goodness, he's not being all lazy, like, looking now. You don't think they took away his memories, and that's why he didn't want to talk about it, do you? Y you... You're... <laughs> so you finally remember me, do you? When your hearts was in tatters, it was I who rebuilt it. I who restored it. It was I who pulled us all back into that empty vessel. You have the power to twist the minds and memories of men. The seven snake apostles. Dang, Wes, you're, you're one of them. Weissman the Faceless. <clears throat> I have not heard that name pass your lips in ages. Enforcer. Number 13. The Black Fang, Joshua Astray. He... Wait, what? You... You're behind all of this? Which means that Lieutenant Lawrence has to be. It is as you surmise. I was kind enough not to erase your memories of him. <laughs> I'm not surprised you were able to make the connection so quickly. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be pleased to know you're thinking of him. Okay, so this guy is an Angus and... Josh was an enforcer? I think I was right about Lawrence, though. He's an enforcer, right? Not an angler. So you... You're here to finish me off. <laughs> Nothing of the sort. The first phase of our plan went off without a hitch. Since I have a moment to spare, I simply thought I'd come see you. For 
first phase. See only old ruins. The gates which blocks the path to the ring. Wrenching it open was but the first step of many. <laughs> and already there exists no means of closing it again. I knew this wouldn't be the end of it. What the hell is the shining ring? What's your little society after? Ah, oh, if you really wish to know, why don't you rejoin? I'm certain that you'd be able to return to active duty in no time. You didn't look uh, you needn't look so glum. I can get you back into fighting form. Please <laughs> spare you uh please spare me your withering looks. I do understand that you have a family now, whom you regard as important. You greatly admire your father. To say nothing of the girl you so adore. Even with him on our side. Throwing those gifts away would be the actions of an idiot. And so, I've come here to see you. I came to offer you true freedom from our association. As thanks for the integral role you have so perfectly played. Which means I must congratulate you, Joshua. You are already a free man. I am most grateful for the work that you've done over the past five years. Huh? What? Oh, don't be so boring. I was expecting a bit more cheer out of you at hearing such news. <laughs> Perhaps there's a flaw in the design of your emotions. I, I've been helping you? <laughs> what, what, what kind of bullshit are you expecting me to swallow? Oh, pardon me. I, I can believe we have to tell you. I never intended you to be an assassin, but rather a spy. Wait, what? Society abandoned you. You played on the pities of a noble hearted man. And it worked. You were given a loving home. And while you were there, our contacts would check in on you from time to time. And you tell them everything. We were particularly interested in your reports on the movements of the Brace Guild. As well as your intel on one Cassius Bright. Oh, okay, so he's, he told them that he'd be out of the country? Oh. But of course, you wouldn't remember having done such things as that. You were not yourself at the time. Oh. Yes, yes, right, this ranked brazer. He was the foremost impediment to the success of the plan. We felt certain who would be quick to act in order to stop any coup d'etat that should occur. Through a detailed analysis of his, uh, his behavioral patterns, we finally devised a plan that would lead him out of the country and out of our way. The intel you've knowing, unknowingly been feeding us has been most useful indeed. No. And so I must thank you again. The past five years have been of inestimable. Have been. The past five years have been of in, inestimable help. Lying. You have to be lying. I, all that time I spent with Estelle. <laughs> Why are you so sad? Has your feigned ignorance not earned you a beloved family, as well as a happy home? If you say nothing, they will never know. However, it is the sort of thing that may weigh uh, heavily on a fellow. Since you are fellow members of the Bright Household are such good people. Perhaps a little too good for a monster such as yourself. How oh, much you may model your behavior after a normal, decent person. You are no such thing. You must surely have noticed your ability to reason through and execute a solution to a problem, no matter the circumstances. Your physical strength and reflexes, better than the entire squadron of normal soldiers. You are my greatest creation. A human weapon. That is who and what you truly are. The Black Fang. You have no place in the lives of all people. You'll never be happy in the present again. You can't be. When it becomes too much for you, you're always welcome to return. 
to the Grand Master Society of Souls. Back to Ouroboros. Okay. I thought he might be associated with them. Maybe even like an experiment. Sort of sounds right. But God, I wasn't expecting like an enforcer. Or let alone that stuff. About him being an informant, basically. Is this my punishment? My sister. And Lo. Oh, he was mentioned in Cold Steel, wasn't he? I. What do I do? My goodness, I found ice cream. <sighs> I don't know how to face him after all that, but I've kept him waiting for way too long. It's getting late, too. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I need to learn to think before I open my mouth. What if Joshua's figured me out? Ah, to cool down. Ooh, I feel like I'm stuck in perma blush mode. Ah, s oh, there. I didn't even notice them over there. Ah, oh, stop. I thought I might find you around here somewhere. Oh, Professor Alba, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Indeed. I was actually just speaking with Joshua. Congratulations on your promotion to senior braces status. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, you just seem super suspicious, that's all. I don't know, something just seems different about you. What's got you looking so cheerful? Hmm. <laughs> okay, you've got me. To tell the truth, I made several major advances in my archaeological research. You might say I've been a... It's put me in a good mood. Ha, oh, that's awesome. Oh, oh, sorry, the ice cream's going to melt, so I better get going. I'll see you later. Oh, no. <laughs> I see. Cassie's bright daughter. I think she's going to be quite a lot of fun. Hey, sorry it took so long. It was so crowded there, but I have returned with our valuable loot. Cool. Thanks. Now we can eat like kings. Yeah. This is so about earlier. Yeah. I I want to apologize for that. I didn't mean to, uh, to be so vague. It just wasn't an appropriate time for confessions, you know. <laughs> oh, sure. I didn't really mind so much. Ah, well. When I gave it some more thought, I, it seemed kind of silly to try and rush things. We may be seeing your braces now, but that just means we have to, uh, different work to focus on. We might be, uh, we might really have to consider our future prospects. Right. If we get married, we'll have to think about raising children. Okay, I gotta stop getting so far ahead of myself. Well, it's evening already, so why don't we go eat our ice cream on the way back? Everyone's probably waiting for us. Hmm? Hey, Joshua. What is it? Did he have something he wants to discuss about my future? Or about the future? No, 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 no. What would give you that idea? Come on, let's get back to the castle. Maybe Estelle and Joshua should be sure. No, Joshua, please tell Cassius. Please tell Cassius, this is important. What's wrong, Estelle? You've been completely on edge for a while now. Something on your mind? Yeah. Hey, Shara. Do you think Joshua was acting weird at dinner? Hmm. If anyone's acting weird, I'd say it was you. He was as calm as he ever is. Hmm. So, he's a human weapon creation. Is he a human? Is he an artificial human? Or is he... Like, someone who was trained to mentally think in a way that Weissman or whatever he, uh, whatever the hell he called himself, wanted. Well, yeah, but... Ooh, I see, I get it. Hmm? Get what? You can't keep secrets from me. 
I had a feeling about it. <laughs> but I was wondering if you'd ever admit it to yourself. You're kind of following for Joshua, aren't you? Mm, you can tell. It's pretty obvious. Sorry, hun. But I'm guessing you haven't told him anything about this. No. Joshua's always picking on me, telling me what a dope I am. Not that I should, uh, I should be criticizing anyone, I guess. Ah, you're so naive. It's a wonder how you've lasted this long. <laughs> you need to learn to look a little deeper. Big sister is ready to begin your education in love, Estelle. Never asking you for advice again. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. I don't mean to tease. But, you guys set out just when puberty was about to hit. It's only logical that you start picking up on uh, feelings for each other. <laughs> oh, you think so? Aren't they older than when puberty is about to... I, I feel as though they're a bit older than that. Hmm. Traveling together just seems like such a petty reason for that kind of thing. But I, I guess I've gotten a little bit more self-aware since we started all this. Oh, this isn't like me at all. <laughs> You're the proverbial flower that refuses to blossom. Every girl feels that way. Shara, I don't lecture you or talk about this with you if you're not ready. But if you are, then let's say we have ourselves some girl talk, huh? Would it uh, help if I told you your fortune? Mm, yeah, okay. I promise I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Okay. Alright then, time for your lesson, my protege. Yes, because you're so successful. Oh, Estelle, big sisters moved to tears. Oh, on second thought, never mind. But thank you, I do feel a little better. I'm going to go see Joshua for a little bit. Oh? You're going to tell him? Not about that. It really does seem to be something weird going on with him, though. I want to see what that's about first. Hmm? Aw. Well, you do seem to know him better than anyone else. I'm sure that everything will turn out just fine between you two. Maybe you can even just have a nice, calm discussion with him and be open about what's on your mind. I... I don't think I'm quite that ready yet. Okay, I'll see you later. What does the fortune say? Bad, right? Young love. Oh, I'll probably be fine. Oh, you're not gonna do the fortune? Ooh. Huh? They're not here. Oh yeah, Dad's still in some meeting, I think. But where's Joshua? Joshua? Oh, he's out playing somewhere then. Oh, he's definitely on the roof. That's loud to make it all the way here. Oh, it got louder. I wonder where he might be. Probably somewhere on the southern side. Yeah, it's getting a little bit louder. Oh my goodness. This is going to be like an adventure just to find him. Joshua, are you in the last place I'd look? You're probably in the last place I'd look. Oh, I've never been up here. Yeah, here we are. Hey, Estelle. Nice night, isn't it? Yeah. There's that song again. The whereabouts of a light. I've... I've lost a lot. But the song and this harmonica have always been with me. I've been thinking about why I play it. Hmm. Maybe it's a habit I should quit. I think I want to tell you what I was doing before I met you. Joshua. Okay. This may take a while. Do you mind? Not at all. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Thank you. Once upon a time, I lived a little boy all by himself. Who's the timid sovereign, relying on the kindness of others without a single redeeming trait? But he had people he cared about with him, and so he was happy. But one day, something happened that broke his heart. He forgot how to speak, to feel, even to eat. All he could do was play his harmonica. No matter how hard his caretaker tried, 
Nothing helped his heart to men. And he grew weaker by the day. One day, a wandering musician appeared before the boy. I will heal the boy's heart for you, he said. Provided, of course. I'm compensated. And so the boy was given over to the magician's care. As he attempted to piece the broken heart back together, the magician found that he could shape the boy's existence into anything he wished. And so, the boy's new heart became that of a murderer. For two years, the boy killed every single day. Under the cover of night, he murdered dozens of soldiers. He slit the throat of a national cabinet minister who was under heavy armed guard. Sometimes he used explosives, which maimed and killed innocent bystanders. At some point, he became regarded as something more than a mere killer. He was known as the Black Fang, and the name struck fear into the hearts of men. One day, which gave the boy an assassination order. His target was a hero. A man who had protected his queen and nation from the threat of an invading northern country. He was a bracer, who held a special rank only shared by three others in the entire land. But the target was too strong. He defeated the boy with all the ease of a tiger spotting a playful cub. And at that... And at that moment, some of the magician's servants showed up. Since the boy's face had been seen, it was now a loose end that had to be tied up. But someone came to his aid and drove the attackers away. It was, of course, the man he had come to kill. And so the boy was taken to the man's house where he met a young girl. He lived there for five years. Always feeling like he was lost in some wonderful dream. In the real world, he would never be allowed to have such dreams. But all dreams must end at some point. Time was drawing near, when reality could be avoided no longer. And that's the end of my story. Thank you for being patient with me, listening. That wasn't long at all. <laughs> was all that real? Every syllable. My heart is broken. My hands will always be stained with blood. I failed in the assassination of your father. And I've been betraying you for a long time. Hmm? What can't be saved from his real purpose? His presence alone seems to bring disaster and misery. He's just... Tainted. Huh? Well, the boy set out on a journey. In hopes that he may keep his misfortunes from the one he holds dear. He'll find and stop the foul magician who created the life he has led. Wait, what? That's the last remnant of my human heart. I won't be needing it anymore. But I want you to take it. It's hardly an adequate way to thank you for the last five years. Man, I can't think of anything better. What is it? Oh, the harmonic? Oh, but... What? I said stop it! Stop talking about it like it's a dream! You make it sound like nothing that's happened was even real to you! What difference does the past make? Your heart is broken, what does that even mean? Still... Look at me. Look into my eyes. I've always seen that boy. In good times and bad. No matter how much that boy was hurting, I always saw how hard he'd keep holding on. Joshua, I... I love you. You can't leave me on my own. My feelings won't just go away when you do. I won't let you. Estelle. Huh? Oh, he's gonna... Oh. Uh, Joshua!
What, what was that? It's so bitter. Oh, what did he? It's just a fast acting sedative. What is with people and turning to the front for their portraits when they like go evil? Don't worry. There are no side effects. Uh, why? Why did you? My Estelle. You shine like the sun. My time with you was the happiest and the most painful I've ever known. Just as the brightest light casts the darkest shadow. If you stayed with me, you'd find out just how disgusting my true nature is. Sometimes... <laughs> sometimes I think it would have been better if we'd never met. No, no. But this time is different. I'm grateful that you came to see me. I hate that I have to run from a girl who's so important to me, but... It's all I can do. But I want you to know that I'll always be thinking of you. Thank you. For everything. You had me from the first moment I met you. I've always loved you. Goodbye, Estelle. Huh. That's a decent note to end it on. <laughs> These are the credits, right? They seem like they're the credits. Maybe? I don't see credits yet. Okay. Obviously, I wasn't sure about the specific. Um, okay, so there wasn't anything out of that field. Good to know. I mean, I was legitimately thinking it would probably be something out of that field. And I wasn't sure if it would be or. There we go. There's the credits part of it. Oh. How about all those great voice actors, right? <laughs> it just said cast and there's nothing under because there's no voice actors, right? Okay. Oh yeah, he's he's look pretty cold in that one. And it's still opening up more. Okay. I mean... Obviously, I could not have predicted the specifics. I was trying to think if there's like another organization other than Ouroboros that might come up. Already knowing Ouroboros and that... Well, I mean. Okay. Oh, if you are curious about when I'm planning to do second chapter, that'll be in the future. I'm not going straight into it. I know this is supposedly the shorter one, considerably shorter, and I still, I think it's probably around 66 hours on it now. Yeah, that's actually weirdly comparable to my Cold Steel stuff. I was also thinking about doing hard for second chapter. People suggested against it, but I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll do it. And then I thought, no, no. If it's just unreasonable and I'm gonna hate myself, then I'm just gonna hate myself doing that. Is this all at... Yeah... I am surprised by how much art there is just in the credits in comparison to... Because there's like none of it for the rest of the... Oh, okay, so she's like... You don't, okay, so I assume second chapter is her looking for him. That's pretty... That's a pretty decent assumption for where it's gonna go, yeah? I mean, the guy's so obviously manipulating him. I've always loved you, Achievement Unlocked. Save clear data. Regarding clear data. After saving clear data, you may load it, uh, 
from the title screen to begin the second playthrough with various statistics carried over. Oh, I certainly could, could I? Yes, I could. Uh, yes. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna come back to it. I don't think I've seen this. Hmm? Hmm? See, the skies show no mercy, they see an go of all. That was the art sale, yeah. And the gears of fate continue to turn. Oh, is that what all the gear imagery is for? Fate. Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. The second chapter. Leaving his harmonic over there. Joshua vanishes into the fading light. Is this just a trailer? Estelle sets out a new journey to bring him home. With a faint tolling of a distant bell. Indicates the dawn of a new era. A time of conspiracy, calamity. Okay. More trials await the men and women of the Barrow Kingdom. I saw an Erebonian horse, so... <laughs> we have the concept art, okay. Special characters. Oh, I didn't really see those silhouettes to see if I recognize anything. Peculiar artifacts. One epic adventure. You know what this makes me think? This makes me think that they were planning this to be one story and they're like, no, we can't fit this all into one game. And then they just split it up and like prepared a trailer at the end, like, please play the second one. We're gonna do it. We really oh my, that's huge. That's a huge one. I was wondering why there was like an orange red looking one. That looked like a Lawrence or a silver. Was Lawrence the silver hair guy? Because I could have sworn we saw someone earlier at the play. And I thought he looked a lot more silver haired than that uh, Lawrence looked like. Hmm. Legend of Heroes. Trails in the sky. Okay. Really, just put a trailer at the end. Oh, good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to do one more episode of this and as I try attempt to beat the Lawrence fight. No promises I'm going to beat it. I'm probably just going to do it until I lose interest. It might just be like a 20 minute thing of me trying and failing. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Ooh, a movie. Is that is that the thing that was at the end? Opening, ending, next. Is next the... <laughs> uh, okay, 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 I get it. Interesting. Very interesting ends. I mean, that was the only major story thread that needed some sort of tying up all Joshua's stuff, right? I couldn't really think of anything else. Because I guess, because they said, they even said they found the Black Orman stuff went. The Lawrence and all that stuff, and they all are obviously connected to that. So it seems as though they tied everything that was unanswered in this to the cliffhanger. Which is fine. And you know what? I'm perfectly happy with sitting this down and taking a break. Because honestly, these games just can go on so long sometimes that if I didn't take a break between them, I'd just... I'd hate myself at a point. Uh, when, when, uh, in terms of when to expect it, I'd say... I'm probably going to aim to start it like within a couple months, probably a similar amount of time between as I've had for all the other ones, a month to two, and the variation will probably be more on when I finish up other series and when there's an, a good opening in that time frame for me to start. So, I mean, I, I feel like I should have been more surprised by what happened. But it all felt like it was totally in line with what was uh, it was building up to. Which is weird. Because that's not how I expect things to happen in Trails games. That's weird. It's just weird. I... I expect better. I expected a better twist. I mean, there's some good parts to it, but I was expecting more. I don't know. 
Maybe Cold Steel just spoiled me in terms of twist. <laughs> oh. But I will probably also try, 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 try my darndest because I'm still working out a way to try to find time to even do my regular reviews. Uh, so this will probably be on top of that. Try to do a spoiler talk video before the time second chapter, I start second chapter. So, with that in mind, if you have anything you want me to talk about, it could just be a short video, I'm not sure if it's nearly as important for this since there didn't seem to be as much connected to it. Um, I'll probably put together a small list of just topics to discuss and basically do the same thing as I did for the first Coat Steel and the second Coat Steel. And I'll try my darndest to get that out at some point. So there will be some occasional. Uh, oh, and the Lawrence fight thing, I'm not sure when, exactly when I'm going to get to that. That's probably not something I'm going to immediately do. Um, let's see, I guess then. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone. This has been a, a bit of a shorter one in comparison to the Gold Steel games. Even on the channel, since 39 episodes this is going to be. A little more tacked on it with uh, everything else after. But... It's been an interesting one. I really like the styles. I like the characters. I think the music was okay. I think the um. I'm 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 not really a big fan of isometric, like styles, and it was like okay for this. And I sort of really prefer how Cold Steel did it with the 3D models. I, I felt it was a lot better. Um. But I understand why this is for what it is for the like in the era it was made. I understand. So artistically, I'm I'm not really a fan. It, it, it's I don't think it's aged very well, um, and musically, it had some decent ones. I've been told that it gets better throughout the uh, trail stuff. So this is probably one of the lowest points, which is okay. Gameplay-wise, I thought it was interesting because I had this thought like well before uh, earlier on in the whole existence of this game that there was this contrast between what Cold Steel was like and what this was like, where this felt a lot more precise. Shorter battles, but you had to be really precise in what you did in order to get through them. You had to do very deliberate strategies, and one screw-up could fuck you over. That stopped being true towards the end. That really did, because the, the battles got longer and longer and longer and longer as more options opened up to you. And I'm, le I'm now convincing myself that it's less a matter of the early parts being a different gameplay style or almost like a different design which I sort of thought it was when I was comparing them to what I was used to in Cold Steel I think it's more a matter of just how the gameplay and the system changes when you have a lot more options to work with it becomes a lot more drawn out it becomes a lot more um, reactive rather than pre-planned and I think both are good I'm not as much of a fan of like that last boss battle, especially when I had to redo it, where if you just sort of fuck up in your strategy and lose control of your strategy for a little bit, there's no real way to come back from it. I think Cold Steel did a good job of making it that you're always reacting from the highs, lows, and stuff, and that's what really made it fun. And I'd say I considerably prefer the Cold Steel stuff at the moment, gameplay-wise. I honestly, honestly, I don't think this is nearly as good as the first Cold Steel, and it's not as good as Cold Steel 2. If I had to rank them, this would definitely be the lowest of the three I've played, by far. I mean, I like the characters, I like the characters similarly to like I did in Cold Steel. Um, and then music and art, not even counting that, I'd say, I think, music, art, gameplay, I think we're all worse. Obviously, earlier on, I'm not going going to hate it for that, but it's just sort of the nature of what it is and exactly what my impressions turn into at that point. But yeah, there's two more games in the Trails one, so there's only up, there's only going up from here, right? Even if this is my least favorite, I enjoyed it considerably. I wouldn't still be playing it if I didn't. <laughs> so, thank you all for coming along this journey. It hasn't been quite as long, but it's been a good length one for me. Good, frustrating, like, for me. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.